Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to a run of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Now, it's been a while. It's been a little while since we last did an Isaac run, and that's largely because I've just been getting to grips with this new version of the game. It's very, very, very different, despite its uh, superficial similarities. They've done a great deal to change the nature, like the fundamental nature of the game, the base rules of the game. And that's a very good thing, because of course, The Binding of Isaac is one of those games that became... Like, it's legendary on YouTube. There are entire YouTube channels dedicated almost exclusively to it, or there were once upon a time. The, the likes of Northern Lion made their names just doing Binding of Isaac runs. I used to watch... that's kind of how I first came across it. I used to watch runs of the game. I thought it was really fascinating before I actually played it. Um, what Ed McMillan and his team have done with this new version, Repentance, is they've tried to make it new for everyone. So it's not just the same game with new bells and whistles, new floors, new enemies, new synergies, new animations and whatnot. It, it is that. It's got loads of new content. And I mean so much more you wouldn't you wouldn't believe how much is in this add-on it's like a whole new game but they've actually altered the base rules of the game to make it feel new so that even people who are incredibly familiar with it people like biznap for example who i've seen break this game over their knee using like min maxing techniques and whatnot they have to relearn it they have to play it through again and experience something slightly different. All of the, the mechanics are technically the same, I'm having that regardless, um, are basically the same but there are new things, like for example, the enemies are much faster and the rooms are much meaner. They, the uh, firing enemies like this one, they fire much, much, much quicker than they used to and without as much warning, you don't have as much time to maneuver, which makes it that much more difficult. It's a really interesting way of making the game new and interesting. The game is also... Oh, that sucks. That's actually another example of the... Ooh, well, yeah, ooh, that's not great either for a start. Ooh, we'll we'll, we'll re-roll that, I do believe. What we'll do is we'll use it once so we can get the secret rooms, then we'll re-roll it. Um, but yeah, the Book of Secrets is fine, but it's certainly not worth giving the dice up over, so that is basically a re-roll pedestal now. But that pill, one makes you larger, that's a bad pill. It just makes you a bigger target. There are no benefits to one makes you larger. I don't think, unless there are some new interesting synergies with it. Um, but that's a good example of how the game has changed. The pills and the cards are not as good as they used to be. In fact, pills, for the most part, unless you get, like, the PhD, are universally negative. It's a really fascinating way of changing the game up. Um consumables like keys and bombs are much rarer than they used to be. Keys in particular I've found. There are certain runs where I've hardly got any keys at all, which makes the game so much more difficult and relies far, far more on your ability to play it rather than getting some lucky synergy. A lot of the nastier items like um, Dr. Fetus for example, or Epic Fetus, Brimstone and whatnot are rare as hen's teeth now. Very, very rare indeed, and I believe I've had a bit of a nerf when it comes to the damage. Just to make them less game-winning than they used to be. Things like Dark Bum. What Dark Bum used to do is he would consume dropped hearts and give you soul or black hearts in, uh, in exchange. He does do that now, but he's not as uh, generous as he used to be. And will just as often just drop spiders, like both red and blue spiders. Oh, that was lucky. Eh, eh, it's alright. So, actually, for consumables, we're doing well. Considering this is the first floor, we're not doing too badly at all here. This has been a phenomenally generous first floor in terms of the consumables, but not in terms of the actual items. We're going to have to do some re-rolling here. So, let's see. If we can get something halfway decent from our actual item room. Who knows? Maybe... You'll also notice, I mean, we are playing on hard mode, because I only ever play on hard mode, but the actual enemies are much tougher than they used to be. They've got more health, they're more mobile. Your, your reaction speed has to be much quicker. The base game is so much harder than it used to be, and that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Yeah. 
So, I mean, this first floor is actually being phenomenally generous, given some of the other games I've played off-screen. It's giving us quite a lot. I mean, we've already got enough to make the shop worthwhile, and the keys and bombs to make it worthwhile, too. So, yeah, we could do... Uh, the guillotine isn't great. I'm going to take the lard, simply because this is like... This doubles up. Not only is it more health, it also means we've got more health to exchange when it comes to deals with the devil. Actually, that's good. Scorpio is excellent. Scorpio is poison tears. And another thing that makes Repentance much different from previous versions of Isaac is damage is even more important than it used to be. The floors that you can go to, like the alternate floors you can go to now, are so difficult and often rely on you being able... Oh, the Ragman! This isn't too bad. And this is a version of the Ragman that doesn't spawn um, enemies either, so this is no problem at all. It only spawns spiders, I think, which is no problem whatsoever. He's a bit more aggressive than the, the other versions of the Ragman, but he's not too bad. Um, but the, the alternate floors that you can go to are so difficult, and re the enemies rely upon you being able to put out damage. Or you're just not going to do it. That's good. Damage and uh, hit points. No, that's good. Oh, this is one of the new bosses. Uh, cute little fly. Don't know its real name, but it's a funny little thing. Um, you can actually get a small version of him as a familiar. It's quite cute, isn't it? It's actually... It looks tougher than it is. It's a bullet hell boss, so its whole shtick is that it just fills the screen with bullets. But it's not that hard. Once you know its patterns, it's actually really easy. And especially with poison damage like this, this guy is going to be no problem whatsoever. And if we can get away without being hit, we might even get a deal with the devil, because this is the second boss on this floor. So we might get away with that. Yep, there we go. Ah, no deal with it. Oh, experimental treatment, that sucks! And we haven't got any chance of a reroll. I'll take it, you never know. I don't know how it is now, whether experimental treatment has been changed, but in the previous version of Isaac, Rebirth, I would not have taken experimental treatment. It has ruined more runs than you can possibly imagine. So this is one of the alternate floors. This is Downpour. And I'm going here because this is the route... Uh, you see? Shit pills. This is the route to take you to some of the more interesting outcomes of the game. There is so much new content in this game, but there are really weird criteria and parameters for reaching it. Like, really weird. And this is one of them. We need to make... There's an item, which is the knife. You know, Mum's knife. Um, we need to make it by finding the two halves of it, which are hidden in the levels. Uh, and that will give us access to some of the more interesting secrets in this new version of Isaac. I don't think there'll be any more, apart from minor updates to Isaac. Or uh, if, they, if there is a new Isaac, it will be like the Binding of Isaac 2. Because this version of the game so it seems to contain a full ending. It seems to be the true ending for the game. Well, that's a re-roll um, platform for us. The Eraser is okay. It's not a great item, but it is okay. Um, I'm going to be using it to re-roll, obviously. What a oh, oh, God. This could destroy the run, but I'm going to take it. Because it's a guppy item. It's a guppy item. I know it takes away your health, but... We're g you know, when we go through the mirror on this level, we're going to be running on one hit anyway. So it's fine. For a little while, anyway. Yeah, that's a calculated risk, nine lives. If we can find other guppy items... Oh, God. Killing this boss with just one hit? <laughs> this is going to be tricky, yeah. Okay, right. What I'm going to do... I'm going to do the rest of this floor first. And we'll come back to that one. Um, I'm going to... I need to get some of the rerolls working for me. And maybe we'll get a little bit more health going as well. We might be able to find some soul hearts or black hearts or something. Let's see how we go on, yeah? That boss is one of the newer bosses, and it's very, very tricky indeed. Okay, what have we got? Uh, that's okay, actually. In conjunction with the poison, 2020 vision is pretty good. So there's the mirror. 
we need to, in order to go through the mirror, you need to touch the white fire, which will kill Isaac and turn him into the Lost, which is the ghost version of Isaac. Oh, that's brilliant! But we've got to kill two bosses in one, with only one hit. That's that's going to be tricky. Again, one of the new bosses here. He's a bullet hell boss, and he's not that bad, actually, this guy. He's certainly easier than the one we definitely have to face at the uh, at the end of the level. He's not too bad. I can handle him. One, he's one of those bosses that seems intimidating when you first face him because he fills the whole screen with bullets. But he actually, once you've got his patterns down... Oh god, so we're going to have to defeat... If we defeat him here, we're going to have to defeat him again. This is, this is tricky. It's not him necessarily, it's those flies that he creates. Those flies are really, really difficult. They surround Isaac with like an elliptical pattern and they fire at predetermined points. So if you've got too many of them going round, you are dead. They're just going to fire to a point whereby you can't avoid, you cannot possibly avoid the bullets. So we managed him there. We managed him there, so we should be alright. With any luck, we should be alright fighting him at the end of the level. Before we do that though, we do need to do the... Uh, I wonder if we can find some soul... Yes, that will help. That will help. That's another thing that's rarer, by the way. Soul heart drops, very, very rare now. Even when you've got an item that gives you them, they're, they're like the relic, for example, they are very rare indeed. Right, let's see if we can repeat the victory. You'll notice as well, even though we've got poison shots, he doesn't get poisoned very often. That's another element of... Uh, we did it. We managed it. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. And we got some health out of it. That's fabulous. And a deal with the devil, maybe? Ooh. They're all good. And if I still had all my health, I would take every single one of them, actually. But I'm not going to. Um, we need to be a little bit more considered with our health on this one. So I'll take the missing page. The missing page will be of great help. Okay, so this is the other alternate floor, but we don't want to go down there yet. I need to get the knife handle from through the mirror. So to get the knife handle, what you need to do, find the white fire, touch it, and it will kill you. But it will only temporarily kill you. You'll become the lost, which is like the ghost version of Isaac. Then you can go through the mirror into what is like a dreaming alternate version of this floor and you can then find the knife handle in the item room. And the problem is, if you get hit, you're dead. Because it's the lost, right? The lost can only take one hit and then they die. So, this is tricky. This is a really tricky element. So, let's see if we can find some more health. I doubt it, but we, we might as well give it a go. Nope. Oh well. Through we go. And we're lucky because the item room is right here. You don't need to do the whole floor. You can, if you're feeling confident, go and do the whole floor and get double the number of stuff you normally would, including the boss, so you'll get another item. But I'm not feeling that confident at the moment. If it were one of the other bosses, one of the easier bosses on this floor, then I'd do it, but not right now. Okay, we can go down to the mines now, which is the other alternate floor. It's one of the alternate routes, and the fun of it is, the way it's interlinked, you can always get back onto the main route if that's what you want to do. There's always the option of getting back onto one of the other routes down into the other parts of the game, which is really cool. There are so many ways you can go now in this game. Oh, the Ash Pit is one of the harder versions as well, so yeah, we're going to have to be careful here. This is not an easy way, but we're going to have to just lump it. Okay, so this is just timing. What do we get for it? Oh, that's not too bad. A judgment card. That that potentially will give us an item. So, yeah, that's good. Or a reroll pedestal. So, that's grand. And this one's being a bit greedy. Yeah, it's giving us a key, though. That's good. I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, we'll probably lose that, but I'll I'll take it. Just on the off chance. Nope. Oh, well. Right, we'll come back when we've got some money to give him. Oh, God, yeah. These ghosts that are flying in off screen, 
they can't be killed, you've just got to kill every enemy, and when every enemy is dead, they'll stop coming. Every enemy down here in the ash pit is really tough. They've got a lot of health, they've usually got like an outer shell of stone or like fossilization around them. So yeah, this is one of the tougher floors to go for. But then again, it's the one that leads to like the real ending of the game. The hidden ending of the game, where you see all the, the real stuff that's going on. Uh, and that is very, very cool. Ow! Damn it, that was an uh, unfortunate panic button. Don't know what that does. That's one of the new items. Okay, this is tricky. We've got to get the um, the skull thing to fire, to blow up the... Uh, there we go. There we are. These two, these skeleton things here, they're like dry bones from Mario. They'll collapse and then get back up. The only way to kill them, you've got to kill every single one of them at once on screen. Which again, if you don't have the damage or the necessary output, you just can't do it. It's impossible. Yay! Okay, so that's um, that's a bomb beggar. He takes your bombs in exchange for money and whatnot. It's not that great. Okay, we've got money to give to the other um, the other judgment now, which is great. If you've got if you get ninety nine bombs, he'll be amazing. But we don't, so um, yeah, maybe at some point. Curse room down there. I will go there if I get the health to do it because it could be a guppy item. You know, here, this is a good example. Look, they fall. You've got to kill all of them. If you don't kill all of them, they just get back up. It's very difficult on the big rooms. This guy, oh, this is going to be a pain. This guy spawns indestructible uh, gold rocks. These things can't die, and they won't until he dies. There we are. Courtesy of the missing page there. Oh! We want that. We definitely want that. Jacob's Ladder is a very good item indeed. Sorry about that. Oh, sorry about that, my loves. My uh, bloody controller decided to disconnect for some bizarre reason. Uh, anywho, that we got that. That's good. That's very, very good. Most pleased about that. Um, so we're a bit more survivable now. Health is the big issue. Our damage is good. Our damage is pretty excellent, actually. But health is the big issue. We could do with... Um, Something like the um, Satanic Bible or something like that. Something that where we can generate hearts or soul hearts. So the Book of Revelations would be another good one. Come on, pay out. Yeah! No, that's great. That's made us so much more survivable. Oh, these things, their movement patterns are so strange. Jacob's ladder helping enormously there. So who's the boss? This one's tough. This one's really tough. He's got a lot of health, this guy. And his attacks are quick and very difficult to predict. You see, he often does like multiple attacks at once. So yeah, he's a tough one, this guy. And as you can see, we are not doing that much damage to him. Even though we've got decent damage. He's a, a nasty one, this. All the bosses, actually, in the Ash Pit are difficult. There aren't easy ones. But this is actually one of the nastier ones, I will say. Again, once you've got his patterns down, he's not that bad. You are probably going to take damage on him, though. He's very hard to do without taking hits. And if you haven't got, like... Some very decent damage. Forget it. Oh, that's brilliant. No, that is wonderful. That is a fantastic item, the blue cap. No, that has basically um, made this run much more survivable. In context as well with uh, nine lives. Another guppy item. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. One more guppy item and we're going to become guppy. Which is... Fantastic. Not a game winner anymore. 
Guppy has been nerfed a little bit. The flies don't generate as quickly, and they don't take away as much health, but it's still fantastic. It's still a, an absolutely brilliant uh, upgrade. Okay, uh, I can't generate any more rerolls, unfortunately. Otherwise, we'd reroll Guppy's paw. So, down we go. The mines, too. This is better than the ash pit. This isn't as hard as the ash pit, so I'll take all this. This is fine. And there may be potential for shenanigans down here, too. Like rerolls and gambling and whatnot, so that's fabulous. Okay, what do the... Oh, yeah, they create bridges so you can get to the front, of course. Very good. I don't know what the little hearts with the muck on them do. I don't know what that is. Some new uh, heart you can get. Okay, this is the room we want. This is the room that leads to the other part of Mum's knife. What we need to do is find uh, hidden switches throughout this level. There are three altogether. And once we've switched them, it will open up the path to where the blade of Mum's knife is. No guarantees there, though. Get it, actually getting the blade and getting out with it, very tricky. Very tricky. You'll see why. You'll definitely see for why. Okay, what? Ooh, fingers crossed. Oh, I can't see what it is, so... Monster manual? No, we're re-rolling that. Okay, what have you given us? Hot bombs? Uh, it's fine. It's nothing spectacular. That is not going to save our run or anything like that. It's okay. In conjunction with some items, like, like Dr. Fetus, absolutely brilliant. But it's just okay here. It's, it's more of a... Um, it's more of a perfunctory benefit than anything else. Oh, these guys. The guys with the uh, rocks in their mouths. They spit spiders, which is not nice. There's one of the switches. Right, I think we've only got two to go, and then we're, we're ready to go, which is awesome. Uh, is it even worth unlocking the shop at this point? We don't really have any money, so it may not be worth it. Nope. Just trying to find the second secret room. We've got the bomb, so we may as well... There's the last switch. So... Wiggle worm? No, we'll take this for now. So there we go. That's the secret room open. Which we will be traversing. It's going to be tricky. But we are going to try it. We're going to go for it. There's the boss. Uh, oh, these things are bastards. They don't hurt you, but they they eat your charge on your item. Which, when you when your run is so reliant on your charged item, a little tricky. A little tricky. I imagine with some of the other characters who really, really rely... Oh, these guys. These guys aren't too bad. You've got to use the bombs that these things spit to blow the, the fossilized exterior off. And then they're vulnerable. They're, they're basically just Larry. They're a ver like a souped-up version of, uh, of Larry Jr., right? They're not that bad. They are intimidating when you first face them because you haven't really fought anything like them before. That requires the use of environmental, um, like environmental factors to kill. But beyond that, oh hello. Bo uh, bo we should have re-rolled that really, but oh no, no, actually that worked out okay. Two of diamonds, Two fine. Diamonds. Wheel of Fortune could be useful, potentially. Probably not, though, at this point. Empress is good. Right, I'm just going to go and have a look in the uh, the, suit, the uh, Deal with the Devil room. Can't see what it is. So, um, the mark is excellent. No, that's absolutely worth it. I've got a cup of coffee, by the way. Now, that is the door we want. That's the secret door down to Gehenna. Which is one of the new uh, the new floors. Gehenna being, of course, one of the uh, one of the areas of hell in uh, Kabbalistic mythology and also Judaic tradition, I believe. And I'm sure I'm butchering the pronunciation, but that is one of the new floors, and it is absolutely essential we get there. That door it will either lead to Gehenna or to the Necropolis, one or the other. Um, either way, Gehenna is the one we want. But to get what we need, we need the knife. So, as you can see, we've been robbed of everything in this area. All of our items gone. 
all of our cards and pills and all of the updates to our attacks. That, there's a reason for that. This is one of the secret, secret, secret areas of the game, which has been introduced in Repentance. And it's, I just love this shit. There it is, there's the knife piece. Oh, unfortunately, <gasps> yeah. It's not going to let us just get away with it. Now we need to backtrack through this entire area. Getting through all the obstacles while this thing harasses us all the way through. If there is no way of getting rid of that. You've just got to avoid it. It's very, very tricky. And there are going to be lots of blockages in the way that we've got to deal with. It's very tough, this is. There we go. Okay. It's just timing, though. It's it's one of those monsters that's designed to make you panic. And yeah, there's good reason. I mean, it will kill you. But that said, we're not in too bad a position at the moment. This is much easier if you've got a flying character. Like um, Azazel. Mind you, everything's easier with Azazel. He's just that kind of character. I mean, he's got the, the, the little brimstone attack as well, so... Yeah, if you look and you listen, that that, that shadow thing, it's Mum. It's got Mum's voice. It's like, um, it's like everything in this game. It's representative. It's how Isaac sees his mother. It's what it's like. She, you know, the the manifestation of all his neuroses and fears. There we are. Excellent. And now this knife familiar will follow us around, basically uh, stabbing randomly at things. But that's all to the good. That's all to the good. It's supposed to do that. It does a fair bit of damage to enemies when it stabs them, but it also um, will open up particular doors. Which we desperately, desperately want it to do. Nothing. I think we're done on this floor. I think we can actually go down now to Gehenna. Okay. Yeah, you've got to sacrifice health, though, to get down there. And this... This is a hellish floor. This is, as the name suggests, this is really bloody hard. Look at these guys. You've got to keep killing them. If you don't have the damage to do this, they're just going to keep coming at you. I love the soundtrack down here. It's amazing, right? Oh, okay! Ultra Pride! I'll take this. Ultra Pride might give us, actually, what we need to get Guppy. He's going to give us, I think, the left hand. And the left hand makes it so um, red chests drop much more frequently. So our likelihood of getting Guppy is um, much increased by this. Which is all to the good. Yes! Fantastic. That's really good. I mean, we're still... Uh, when it comes to health at the moment. So we're going to have to be careful. Have you noticed? Oh, look at these little goat boys very cool, right? All the enemies down here are like demonic, hellish versions of the normal enemies. So you've got goat boys like these. There are like demonic um, cenobitical versions of uh, Isaac and whatnot. It's really weird and creepy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes! Guppy item! We've done it. We're guppy. That's brilliant. That is fan-bloody-tastic. I'm not going to tempt fate by going for the Book of Belial. We need the health, but this has made our survivability much more likely. What is it? Is it worth it? Yeah, it might be. Let's have a look. Oh, it's just some flies. Look at these guys. The enemies down here are much nastier. They're much more aggressive, and their shots are much more likely to have special effects on them, like tracking and whatnot. Unless you are dealing mega damage. You are in trouble when you come down here. But we probably are going to be dealing mega damage now. So, yeah, very pleased. We can fly as well now, which is a huge, huge boom. Huge benefit. Look at this, there are now more environmental hazards too. Like these things. This is very Super Mario, isn't it? 
uh, portals that create enemies. Just continually pump enemies in. Not nice at all. Love the soundtrack. It's so creepy. Ooh, two red chests. What could these be? Anything good? Oh, wonderful. Life-saving. Absolutely brilliant. Bit of gambling. Is it worth it? I mean, I could potentially get lots of red hearts and then gamble to get um, the blood bag or the IV bag. But we'll see. Um, it may be worth just blowing these up, actually, at this point. Oh, another red chest. Oh, troll bombs. Not great. Oh, well. I like our model. Guppy with the glasses looks... <gasps> mm, we'll re-roll that. Uh, 99 bombs! Okay, I'll take that. That was... I don't... I still don't know... Oh, that shit. I still don't know... No, not Tiny Planet. Don't like it. Oh, the nails! We'll definitely take the nails. The 9-inch nails. 8-inch nails, yeah. This is another damage upgrade. So, this is fantastic. I mean, we are... In terms of damage, it's hard to get better than this. It really is. Uh, we could do the boss first, I suppose. Oh, it's this. It's the updated Mask of Infamy, yeah. This is tough. This is really tough. Look at it grab... See it grab Isaac there? If you look the real face, the mask is in the back. There we go. It's Dade. We got health for that too. So, very good. Very, very good. We don't want Book of Belial. Um, it's good, but we don't want it um, at the moment. It's just not worth it right now. Um, whatever damage it can give us is going to be incidental to the damage we're already doing, so it's it's just not worth it, you know? Oh, crap, that was bad. Yeah, I love all these new floors. They're so inventive and interesting. Just wait till later. The, the, the places this new version takes Isaac psychologically are really interesting. I love the way it's like a journey through the subconscious of a, of a traumatized child, effectively. That's what, that for me, that's the appeal of Isaac, beyond like the video game elements of it, which are very, very good. It's a very addictive piece of work. No, do not want, that is the uh, Kane's eye. We don't want it. It sucks. I'm going to re-roll that. That is fine. That's a, just another, yeah, another damage upgrade. So wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. But uh, Cursed Eye has... Um, it has lost me so many bloody runs, it's unbelievable. I don't even want to, like... Uh, it, it's, what, it's a bad item. It's ultimately a negative item, and you don't want to pick it up. The only reason I'd pick it up is by accident. I mean, it does have bonuses, but the bonuses do not outweigh the curse that it places on you. Now, is it worth going to the curse room? I don't know. I mean, what could it possibly give us now that would be worth it? Not much, I'm telling you. Not much at all. Okay, let's go down to floor two. Gehenna two. Okay, off we go. Oh, this is fun as well. There are like new elements down in Gehenna, like teleport pads, which is kind of fun. Whoop. <laughs> oh, Wrath. Wrath is going to be nothing. Wrath is going to be so easy right now. Health up! Oh, positive pill at last! Yay! That's a good one as well. That's a very good one. Not an issue for us, because we can fly. Oh, look at these guys! Haven't encountered them before. Oh, troll bomb. Want none of that, thank you very much. Okay, right. Hmm... The lack of a map is going to make this rather tricky. Gehenna tends to be a big floor, so this is going to be tricky. Keep forgetting I've got 99 bombs. I really should be taking advantage of that. Burp, 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 burp. Stay away. Thank you. You know, if I can, if there's a chance of me getting um, soul hearts or whatever, I should really be taking it. 
these mummy guys, they're, they're no issue at all. They just fire, um, they fire eyes at you, which is, eh, nothing really. Okay, what's this going to be? Anything good? Spiders, okay, fine. Oh, these things. I hate these uh, tiles here. They move really quickly and they Oh! Oh! Oh, Lemon Party. That sucks. I shouldn't have rerolled that. Lemon Mishap, rather. Um, lemon Party is another item that you can get. Um, lemon Mishap is, um, well, not great. Certainly not worth losing the dice over, so we'll re-roll that. God, look at the flies I've got from Guppy. That's mad, right? The only thing that's going to be able to stand up against us are some of the bosses, some of the later bosses at this point. Because we are, we are very, very strong. This is a phenomenal run. Should we see who the boss is? Or should we go and have a look? Let's go and have a look around first. I want to get a re-roll for that. I mean, the poison bombs wasn't really worth it. Now, if I had, again, one of the fetus items, I would have taken... Oh, Whore of Babylon. Yeah, I'm having that. Yeah, Whore of Babylon is excellent. Absolutely excellent. I can't resist that, I'm afraid. Okay, so... Uh, well, that's crap. Sacrificial Dagger is alright. Sacrificial Dagger is a really good familiar. I'll take that happily. Look at these guys. <laughs> uh. I don't want one makes you larger. That is a terrible pill. Thank you. Oh, never seen these before. Oh, I've got to use the... Ah, oh, there we go. So the only way to get rid of them was to use the switch. You can't kill them normally. Hey! Oh, I haven't got any keys. God, that must be the first time in this run when we've actually run out of a consumable. Okay. So, oh, there's a key there. So let's just... Uh, there we are. Anything in these? Ouch, that was foolish. Nope. Anything at all? Nope, really. Okay, let's see what's in the shop. Uh, not much, really. I'll take that. Oh, that was good. That was good. I'll take that. Yay! Now we're not wanting for keys anymore. I mean, actually, keys are not as important as they used to be. At this level of the game, not that important. Oh, that's all right. I'll take that. A rainbow baby is an all right familiar. As it suggests, it fires different types of shot. This is the upgraded version of Mom. So this is a version of Mom that is stronger and nastier than the one you face in the normal game. See, it's got like a brimstone attack. Now, that's the door we want. That door there. We, that's it. That's what the, the dagger's for. And this is an upgraded version of Mum's Heart. A much nastier version. Lots more attacks. Um, the bullet hell of this is going to be insane. There we go. And now, when we go back through, we're in a different area. And there's a different path down to a new level. The corpse. Right? So this is the corpse. A very nasty floor indeed. As you can see. It's an alternative womb, effectively. Oh, Krampus. Let's see. There we go. That's him dead. I don't want Krampus's head. So with any luck, we'll get to come back here. And then I can uh, re-roll that. Krampus's head is not really anything that special at this point. We're just putting out too much damage for it to be worthwhile. Okay. Oh, these things. These things are indestructible in their pains. Oh, what have we got? Oh, well, let's re-roll it. Oh, now we will abandon the dice. The Satanic Bible, exactly what we wanted. And we got the Bookworm transformation. So we've got two transformations on right now. Guppy and the Bookworm. This is a fabulous run, but it's still not a done thing. If this were a normal run... I would say this was a one run. This is a fantastic thing we've got going on here. But we're in one of the hardest areas of the game and the boss for this area could still kill us. 
quite easily, actually. It's a really, really nasty boss. You shall see, my loves. You shall see. There we go. Okay. Oh, different pills. Oh, tits. Oh, no! That was one of the worst. That was one of the worst. That could cost us dearly. Whoop. Okay, what have we got? Troll bomb! Do not want. Okay. I love these hordes of zombies. I think they're very cool. I, this is one of my favourite of the new floors, actually. The uh, the corpse is a brilliant area. Oh, Super Envy is going to die so quickly, it's not even funny. Melts. And we got an extra heart out of that, so fabulous. I mean, I don't think there are going to be any shops uh, from this point on. But if we could get a battery item, like the 9 volt or something like that, that would be fantastic. Ugh, God. All the enemies down here are really spectacularly horrible. Even more so than most of them in Isaac. Ooh, not nice. Not nice at all. Okay. This would be a lot harder had we not been so phenomenally lucky with our synergies. I mean, we have been lucky. You have to be lucky to get to this floor, to be honest. Okay. Oh, little buddies, that's fine. I'll take that. Oh, maggots. Not nice. And extra heart. Troll bomb. Ah, that was close. That could have gotten us then quite easily. Ooh. Christ. Tricky, tricky floor. Don't even know what the boss is to this to this area. I think there is there's another floor before we uh, before we move on. So, oh, is this just one floor? I can't quite remember off the top of my head. If it's just one floor, then it's only one boss, and it's a really tough one. Like a very, very tough boss. We shall see. Let's have a look. Oh no, this is this is one's relatively easy. It's a combination of two. See? It's like Gurdy and another boss, right? So not too bad, actually, this one. This is quite... No, not worth it. Nowhere near worth it. The nail is a, a fairly shit-tier item, to be perfectly honest. And it's certainly not worth two hearts. There's, um... Yeah. Definitely not worth it. So the corpse, too. It's the, it's the one... The, um... Boss to this floor is phenomenally tough. Troll bombs. <laughs> I love these guys. They're very, very gross. Okay, okay. As I said, any other run, I'd have said this is this is one. I'd have said this is it. We are so so powerful. Nothing can touch us. But because we're on this route, we're taking this path. Not so much. I'm afraid. It's not that simple. Not like it used to be. Oof, very nice. It's like a mini boss, that big sort of cadaverous monster. It's got uh, it's got elements of peep to it and elements of several other bosses as well. That one, very cool creature. Anything? Nope. Troll bomb. I don't even know what those things do. I haven't given them chance yet. <laughs> I kill them as soon as I can. Which is probably a wise move, to be honest. Yay! Okay. Oh! Pride! Pride's just going to melt, so no problem there. Faced a lot of the sins, have you noticed? Nope. Oh well. Worth a try. I love the low-lying, like, green necrotic mist. I think that's really cool. Oof, that was close. Ah! Ah! Not nice. Spidery enemies. Ugh. Not doing my arachnophobia any favours there, I can tell you. 
guard poison the uh, Jacob's ladder and the, uh, the flies and the nails all together. That is a killer combination, that is. Very lucky. Very, very lucky indeed. Okay, this boss is a, an absolute tank. It's very, very hard. Let's see how we get on. Shot speed up, that's going to help. Oh, Amnesia's fine. Amnesia's absolutely fine. Okay. Now, I've got to go down this hole to face it. And it is... Yeah, this is horrible. This is a really nasty boss. Mother. Yeah. This is so tough. Look, it doesn't even have a health bar, right? It's got Mum's knife. It's bullets just stay on screen. It's a nasty piece of work, this one. We Oh, we've got it down to its second form. It's, ah, Brimstone! This is even worse, though. Look at this. It's like a grid of bullets. It's, it's insane. Look how quickly it's killed us. And maybe we'll defeat it next time round, my loves, or maybe not. We shall have to see. Until then, bye-bye.